Hello everybody, RV living with the geezer. I'm coming back from Peaster, Texas. And I'm on 199, headed back east. It's sort of cloudy, so the sun shouldn't be a problem. But uh, yeah, I took Blanca over there. She's had this little bump on her nose. And uh, I wanted just to get it checked out. And, uh, the vet was real good. She said, we're she said it's either a little tumor or a uh, abscess, and she said, I'm gonna put her on some antibiotics pills to, uh, if it's an abscess, that'll clear it up. And, uh, cause it hadn't been bothering or anything. I just didn't want it to turn into something. And she said, if it's, you know, uh, the other, then at her age, you know, she, and I agreed with her. Uh, she said, I sure don't want Anyway, I mean, it's not bothering her, so uh, she's playing with the dogs this morning. I told the vet all that, you know, and she's eating like a champ. And, and she listened to her heart and said her heart was doing fine. So, yep. And so we're going on back, heading back to Boyd now. And I stopped at a little cafe in Poolville. It's called the 920 Cafe. It's in this old rock house they converted into a cafe and went in there. I saw a fire truck sitting outside. The firemen were in there eating, three of them. And I got talking to the lieutenant there, told him I was retired. Really a real nice guy, you know. And we talked for a little bit. He uh, told me to swing by the fire station there in Peaster sometime. That's where they're out of. Drink some coffee with them. Anyway, but, uh, yeah, I always like chatting with the firemen when I see them, you know. It just brings back good old times. But, uh, yeah, and Sonny's got a game tonight, so we'll go to that. And then last night, Calvin's team had a wild one down there in Hazel. They jumped out to a 9-1 to one lead, and the other team actually caught up and, and went ahead of them. And Calvin's team rallied back, and they ended up winning 12 to 10. Yeah, that was a wild game. Fans were all hooting and hollering. It was, it was fun. So, yeah, this 199. There's a get some truck traffic on it, and it's got hills, so those trucks slow down, and then these idiots up here get impatient, you know, and start passing on yellow stripes and every hills and everything else. But, uh, I'm not going to be on it long. I'm going to cut back, cut back off up here to the left when we get to close to Springtown. Yep. Let's see. What else? What else? What else, geezer? Uh, yeah, that Easter weekend coming up, and uh, I don't know what, the, it seemed like something was going on tomorrow, can't remember what it is now, story of my life. Huh, okay, well, must not be very important. Yeah, I've been wanting to mention some, oh, I got a gift in the mail I got to show y'all. Uh, yeah, I was wondering how I was going to get Blanca water on her trip. And uh, uh, Ernie, one of my subscribers, Ernie, uh, I don't know if he wants his last name said or not, so I won't. But he, he sent me gifts before. He sent Blanca this cool, I'll, I'll, I'll show you in the video, it's a bottle, plastic bottle, it's got a plastic cup on it, and then the water sort of, it's gravity goes down into the cup, and it's like for traveling, uh, and by golly, I think that's going to solve that little uh, issue that I didn't know how we were going to do it. So uh, thank you, Ernie. But I, like I say, I'll show you all in a video. I appreciate that. I got it. Uh, it came in yesterday. It was from Amazon. There was no name or anything, but 
uh, Ernie had mentioned that he was going to send Blanca something, so that's got to be from him. So thank you, buddy. Blanca says thank you, too. She can wet her whistle when she needs to on the trip out to, out, out to Fort Davis. When's the last time y'all heard that one? Wet your, wet your whistle. Huh? My whistle's not copyrighted, so I can play tunes with my whistle. I never could whistle worth a darn, though. Y'all needed to know all that. All right, guys, I'm getting up here. This, this light up here is where I turn left get off this 199 so I just wanted to fill you in on Blanca's little adventure and she's always happy to leave that vet's office even though they give her a little treat in there a little chew treat but uh, she's always happy to get out of there and she she when we go in she's uh, she balks at him you know I have to have to encourage her <laughs> she, Cause she's got shots in there before. I told, I told her today that she wasn't going to get a shot, but I guess she didn't listen to me or ignored me as usual. So, uh, all right, here we go. Left turn, geezer mobile. All right, guys. Peace out. Stay blessed and stay positive, and uh, maybe I'll do a little video from Sunday's game tonight. I, I don't know. We'll see what comes up. On and on we go. Bye-bye.